Yeah, so a little after uh, 4 p.m. this afternoon, uh, Sheriff's Department received a 911 call regarding shots, shots fired here uh, at the strip mall. Uh, witness uh, saw two, a uh, male and a female, uh, behind the strip mall on the ground unresponsive. Uh, deputies arrived at the scene, uh, immediately began uh, medical aid for both. Uh, the male was declared deceased here at the scene. The female was transported to a local hospital uh, where she is in critical condition at this time. Uh, we're at the beginning stages of the investigation. Uh, we don't know the association between the two at this point in time, uh, but we don't believe there's any outstanding suspects uh, and there is a weapon here at the scene still. So there's, a, uh, there's one person dead? Correct, there is one person, the male is deceased, uh, an identified male and the female was transported to a local hospital. So three people involved? Two. Two. A male and a female. The female was transported to a local hospital and the male is here at the scene still, he's uh, declared. Hey Tony, just to put some people's minds at ease, you have a general description of the people, white, black, Mexican, to just put some people's minds at ease as to... Uh, I haven't been that close to the okay. victim at okay. this point in time to give you a race, and I, and I haven't seen the, uh, the female victim. Um, all of our identification is tentative right now, so it'd be too early to even say that. Okay. At this do point, do you know who shot who? We don't. So we're at the beginning stage of the investigation. Uh, the homicide team is out here right now to start uh, processing the scene uh, and continue interviews with some of the witnesses. So hopefully we'll have some more information uh, down the road here. Okay, so I just want to confirm place. that the shooting did take place in the alley back, or the the little walkway alley behind the shop. Correct. Yeah, it's behind the uh, behind the strip mall here on Honor. Okay, and you don't know the relation of these two people that were involved. We still don't know the relationship between the the, uh, the, the two people, um, or who shot, or anything. We're in the beginning stages of the investigation. Do you know who called nine one one? Uh, it was somebody, a uh, witness here at the strip mall that heard the shots. Uh, it might have been somebody inside one of the stores that called 911. At this time, are you guys looking at any other suspects or do, are these the, the people that were involved? Or at the, Yeah, at this time we feel fairly confident that there isn't any outstanding suspects. But again, this is the beginning stages of uh, the investigation. There's still witnesses to talk to, but we have no indication that anybody else is involved. Uh, but until we continue to talk to more witnesses, uh, review any um, kind of surveillance video that's in the area. Uh, I can't tell you that that's exactly the truth, but it doesn't, it doesn't sound like there's anybody else involved or any outstanding suspects. Do you know if any of the businesses have security cameras on the back side of the building that you guys be able to look at? I don't know yet. Any age on the victims? Uh, they appear to be around the victims. And you said the murder weapon is still there. Do, uh, do we know what kind of weapon was used in this? Or uh, We still haven't been inside the scene yet, so I can't be sure. And I guess this is the last thing. Do we know the condition of the woman who is at the hospital right now? Right now, last we heard, she's in critical condition. She's in critical condition. That's correct. And then, Tony, can you just get the spelling on your last name? Sure. T-U-R-N-B-U-L-L. -L. And your title? Sergeant. Thank you. And just for clarification, you said the call came in at shortly after 4 o'clock, or what time was? Shortly after. Absolutely, no problem. So uh, as you heard though, that was just a briefing real quick of information that was going on. Um, for those that are just coming on right now, I will reiterate it. There were two people involved uh, in the shooting. The male was de declared dead, deceased at the scene. Uh, the female that was involved, she was taken to the hospital. She is currently in critical uh, condition as we speak right now. So um, at this time, they are not looking for any other suspects. It is just the two people. So once again, for those that are coming on, I'll briefly recap you shortly after four o'clock uh, the police received a phone call of gunfire um, which was happened in the alley right behind me right there uh, we are off Auburn Boulevard to 5300 block and in the alley right behind me there um, they received a phone call that there was gunfire there were two people involved a male and a female the male what once again was pronounced dead at the scene the female was taken to a hospital where she's currently in critical condition. Um, we will continue to uh, keep you updated. As you can see, the homicide unit is behind me uh, back there. They're still investigating uh, the scene. Uh, we were also told that a weapon was found. A weapon was found um, here at the scene. So 
once again, two people were involved. It was a male and a female. The male was declared dead at the scene. The female is currently in a critical condition right now in a hospital. And uh, this happened shortly after four o'clock. This was off the 5300 block of Auburn Boulevard. Uh, we will continue to uh, get more information.